What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Shield Splitter Podcast. Today, I want to talk about an amazing upcoming title, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Now, the game's set to be released early next year, somewhere around February of 2018. There's a lot of reasons to get excited about this game, and not just because it has Dragon Ball Z characters. Game developer Arc System Works, who are the power behind some fighting game classics, Guilty Gear Double X, and Blaz Blue Calamity Trigger to name a few, taken up the mantle to give us a brand new Dragon Ball Z fighting game. When you consider their amazing reputation, when it comes to making deep, competitive, and responsive fighting systems, I can't think of anyone more qualified than Arc System Works to take up this task. Other potential candidates would have been a great idea about 10 years ago. It seems as if classic companies like SNK and Capcom can't seem to get their head out of the sand. Shade throwing aside, it'll be nice to have a Dragon Ball game that's actually good and doesn't rely on the popularity of the animated series. As a person who's played Final Bout GT and most of the Bodokai series, I know from first-hand experience how terrible a Dragon Ball game can be if left in the wrong hands. From what I know, the game is already being beta tested as we speak, meaning that players across the globe will get to sink their teeth into this amazing project. It may be a little early to start assuming the game's already going to be good, I'm pretty confident in Arc System Works, considering that even their worst effort would be better than anything that we have now, and that's saying a lot. As of now in its beta stage, the game has a total of 10 confirmed characters. The roster of 10 includes Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Gohan, Super Saiyan Vegeta, Krillin, Piccolo, Majin Buu, Cell, Frieza, and Android 16 and 18. Considering how monstrous the roster of 10 is already, it's easy to feel bad for the competition. Marvel vs. Capcom, whatever its number, is likely going to eat dirt on this one. I'd probably have way more sympathy for the franchise, Capcom games included, but their history of poor business practice simply won't allow me, and I can only see this as poetic justice. Speaking of justice, I'm reminded of some of the great matches I've had in the past in Arch System Work games. Guilty Gear Asuka was a great example of this. Being able to switch playing fields and change the direction your character was facing at will offered up some interesting playstyles. Some of my friends who I'd compete with often didn't hesitate a moment to exploit some interesting styles of play. Some of my favorite characters in the series have been Soul Bad Guy, Potemkin, and Testament. I bring up those three names because I'm fairly confident that Arc System Work will strive for character diversity in much the same way as they did with Guilty Gear. Potemkin being the template used for heavy hitting characters nowadays, Testament being the poster child for setups, and Soul Bad Guy remaining the all around pick up and play character. The cast of Dragon Ball Fighter Z will likely be just as diverse, and that's what catches my attention more than just the title Dragon Ball. Were it not for financial struggles preventing me from traveling across the world, I would have definitely been part of the Guilty Gear tournament scene. If Dragon Ball Fighter Z lives up to my expectations, I probably will. If we're really gonna talk competition, stay tuned for Lost Files of Dark Souls 2, right after this. Listen up, please!
Welcome back to the Shield Splitter Podcast. I just want to throw out real quick that I'm really liking Piccolo's gameplay. He's probably going to be one of my favorite characters. Well, him and Android 18. And man, I can't wait to do that <laughs> zone grenade on somebody. In Dragon Ball Z Bodokai, it was so dumb. It's so hard to hit. It looked cool, like all other stuff, but it was still pretty bad. It would be nice to finally have flash and functionality. I like it. Bring on the competition, baby. Speaking of competition, I took a dip in some of the old archives and I came up with something. Now this is PvP footage from Dark Souls 2 that I've never posted before. I actually forgot I even had it to be honest. I forgot just how intense fights could be in that game. Now be warned, I do a lot of losing in the beginning, but I pull out a win in the end. Now these are some good players, or maybe I'm just really bad. But wait a minute, I did reach rank 3 though, so... I don't know. For all of you watching this in video format, enjoy the clips. For those listening in audio format, enjoy the melodies. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Later.
Thank <laughs> you. 